All right, I just got in this collector case. It holds about 50 uh, comic books graded. Now it's not quite 50 because some of the slabs are thicker than others. Um, and I do have, although not the best bags in some of them, I do have bags in all of them. So I think there's 47 or 48, roughly 46 to 48 books total. And these are just some of my 50 favorite, not at all based on value, as you'll see by some of them. So I just thought I would go through and, and kind of share. First up is Yellow Claw number one. Great book. It's the, actually the highest copy in the census. And I think it's the only run that I have the highest census um, run, if you will, a registry run. Here's Boy Comics 13. You can see Firing Squad. 6.5, Boy Comics 12, also a pretty powerful cover, it's a 5.0, here's a Hulk 1, 3.5, and so you'll see, I mean, this right side, uh, there's going to be some Golden Age, I think, some silver, maybe some bronze, I think the left side's more Golden Age than not, um, but this, again, not a very valuable book, but I just love the cover. I've got a lower grade copy, and I've got that copy. Here's first Doctor Strange in a 7 -1. That's 110. Here's 111, the second appearance and the first appearance of Baron Modo. You know, white pages. First scrolls in a 5-5. Five -five. Number 3 in a 6-5. Here's a number 6 in a 7 -oh white. That's the first, so number 6 is... They call it the first supervillain meetup, Submariner and um, Doctor Doom. This is a book that people have slept on. Uh, FF19, first appearance of Ramatut, who actually is a variant of Kang. And it came out in October 63, which is, I think, 11 months before Avengers is it 8, which is the first quote unquote Kang. And this is 8 5 8 pages. Watch out for that book. This is Ryson, first Swamp Thing, 708. First, um, uh, Poison Ivy, seven white pages, Batman, one of I also have a 6-5, which was signed by, um, who was it signed by? Murphy Anderson and one other person. Here, here. Here's first Batgirl, 8-0. That's 359. Here's first Bullseye, 98 white pages. This shouldn't be in there. This is one I'm actually in the process of selling to a friend. Um, that's a repeat. That was number 13. It's a 10. This is the only modern book that I think it's in there. It's Pacelli variant, Secret Wars 9. A really clean cover of my eyes and Spider-Man. Uh, 6.0 Pacific Coast pedigree copy of Tales to Astonish 27, the first Ant-Man. Uh, love this book. My favorite book. 9 white pages, Daredevil number one. This is actually one of my top covers. Here's 9-2 white pages, Daredevil number two, second appearance of Daredevil and second appearance of Electro. 9-0, Daredevil seven. It's Daredevil in the first red costume and he's battling with Submariner. Here's the first Kingpin, ASM 50, 75 white. Here's first Electro. We saw his second appearance. Here's the 8 white pages. And to run out this side, here's the first um, uh, Ramita Spider-Man, Daredevil 16 and an 8.5. Um, it was the first crossover of Spider-Man into the Daredevil title. Okay, I'm going to put the Yellow Claw back in here. Yellow Claw 1. And we've got one of my favorite books, Amazing Comics number 1 and an 8.0. It's a Schomburg cover. Pretty, pretty powerful stuff. I also have a 4 or 5 in that that I'm interested in essentially letting go. And here's the companion book. You have Complete Comics number 2 in an 8 -0. And you can see, what does it say? Formerly Amazing Comics. So Amazing Comics was a one, one run. Complete Comics is a one run. And then I think it goes to Young Allies. I believe. Here's USA Comics 14. It's coverless. But you can see Cap on the splash page. Rebecca. Here's All Winners number 10, another Schomburg cover. Powerful. 
There's All Select 8, another Schomburg cover. You can see Cap and Human Torch and others. Young Allies 15, another, uh, um, who is this? Who did the cover on this? Sail, uh, who is that? Sail Brodsky. But, you know, it's that era, World War II. This is a book you hear about very often. Bill Barnes, American Air Force Comics, number four. You can see the Nazi buildings down there he's dropping the bomb on. Here's a stand signed copy of Young Allies, number four, with a red skull on the cover. Probably the pride and joy of my collection, besides my Daredevil one, is Cap 46. It's the Holocaust cover. You can see he's saving Jews from going to the halt into the uh, furnace. Minuteman number one, again, anti-Nazi. Kid Comics 5, other anti-Nazi. Otto Bender story, Sel Brodsky art or cover again. You can see the Nazi tank. Uh, Marvel Mystery 21, another anti-Nazi. Marvel Mystery 35, another anti-Nazi. Submariner 1, obviously anti-Nazi. USA Comics 2, similar story, Hitler cover. Kid Comics 10, a neat book. Here's another Chamber cover, Miss Fury 6. Another, um, uh, let's see who did this. This is Mystic 1 cover homage. This is Mystic... Uh, version 2, number 3. And here's some bronze. Here's just Spider-Man, first Punisher, 9 4 white. First uh, full Wolverine. Just the book I love. Amazing Adventures, number 6. And then here's what you don't see often. Super World Comics 1. There's actually a stamp here from the library. I think it was, was the Library of Congress. There's a few stamps. This is actually used in evidence in a trial. And then here's one of my copies of Flash 1. I've got a 6-0 coming. So that's it, guys. This, this wouldn't fit. For some reason, it's in a magazine holder, so I'll have to have it reholdered. Um, so you, know, you can see it won't fit in the, in the case here. Hence the reason it's on top. So that's, you know, I guess, what does it amount to? I think 46 or 48 books. I mentioned the one Boy Comics 12 is already... Spoken for the 1-0, because I had the 5-0 or 6-5. So let me know which was your favorite. Always buying, selling, and trading. If you're interested in anything, let me know. Some of these may be for sale. Most of them probably not.